In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I used After Effects to make this TikTok. Put your head on my All right, if you guys aren't already following me on TikTok, the link is in the description at underscore Will Delaney. I'm posting about once a day on there, so check it out. So I recently just posted this TikTok. It's a trend uh, where you know you walk on the middle of the road and then it turns into you driving your car. Except I wanted to add a little bit of more interest to it where you saw the car and me in the same shot together. So it almost looks like the car passes through me and then I'm inside the car as it drives away. And this effect is actually really simple. It's just some basic masking and keyframing. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that within After Effects. So the first thing you need is two, potentially three lockdown shots. So you wanna have your camera on a tripod. It cannot move, not even a little bit in between these shots. So make sure it's nice and stable. So then you're gonna do your first shot of you just walking along the road. And then I decided to do like this lean back thing and I was gonna time it so it would be when the car goes past me. So you need the shot of yourself you need the shot of the car driving by, and then you might need a clean plate, which just means just the background, nothing in it, depending on your shooting situation. So I recorded this in one long clip, and now I'm just gonna go through and find the starting point for my first clip where I'm on the road. So once you find your point, you can use Control shift d to separate the clip and put it on a new layer. Uh, now I'm gonna delete the beginning part of this video because I don't need it, and drag this all the way to the beginning of my timeline, and then just scrub through until the point Right there, you can see I lean back and control shift D again to separate the clip. Now I'm gonna go through this new clip and drag all the way along until I find the part with my car. All right, found the part with my car, control shift D, same thing, delete the extra bit and then drag these two clips together. So now we have this first clip of me walking and then it cuts right when I'm leaning backwards. We want the clip with my car to start before the car comes into frame, before the shadow comes into frame as well. So now that we have these clips, I'm just gonna rename them one me and one car. So we're gonna take our car layer and press T to bring up the opacity. I'm gonna bring it down 50%, just so I can see the two shots overlapping each other so I can line it up properly. So right about there, I'm gonna extend this clip a little bit actually. Uh, right about there is where I want my car to be passing over me right there. So now you can see the car is gonna be passing over me right when I want it to. All right, so now that we got the timing of those two clips down, we need to create a mask. So we're gonna go back to the car and hit T, turn the opacity back up to 100, cause that was just so we could line it up. So I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of the clip here where I can see the whole car and hit G on the keyboard to bring my, up my pen tool. I'm gonna to start drawing a mask around the car. I'm gonna leave a bit of room around the car because as you can see, there's a lot of motion blur. Uh, and because of the motion blur, uh, it's going to be, I'm gonna have to feather the mask. And make sure you get the shadow in here too. So then I'm gonna go around the car here and connect my points. And now as you can see, I have my mask, but we have these hard edges. So with your car clip selected down here, hit M twice. It'll bring up all your mask settings. So we gotta hit this stopwatch right here to turn on keyframing. So now wherever we adjust the mask, it's going to remember that for each frame of the video we're on. While we're here, we're also going to select our mask feather. And this is gonna be different for everyone, but I'm gonna go around 40. I think that'll be good. So as you can see here, this creates the issue of the car is kind of like weirdly blending into me, but we're gonna get to that later. Okay, so now this is the part that's gonna take the longest is you're gonna go frame by frame and adjust this mask to move around the car as it goes by. Okay, and now with the mask, we got this, and but you can see I kind of fade away into the car because of the feathering on the mask. Also, I'm just gonna to go to the end of my bottom clip here because if I go too far, then we lose the sky because the sky is only on the bottom clip. So we're just gonna to go to the last frame of that. And then with our car clip selected, Control Shift D and delete the excess of that clip. Now I'm gonna select my layer, my me layer, Control D to duplicate it and drag it on top of my car layer. Then I'm just gonna trim it down so it's only there over the part where the car is going over top of me. Now we're just gonna add another mask to myself that has a harder edge so that it doesn't look like I just fade into the car. While I do this mask, I'm gonna hit T and have my opacity at 50% just so I can see the car underneath. I'm just gonna name this layer top and I'm gonna get to the frame right before the car overlaps me and just outline this side of my body here. And with your top layer selected, double tap M to get to your mask section again and turn on the stopwatch. Otherwise, it's not gonna remember your keyframes. This one's gonna be a little quicker because it goes by so fast and it's only a few frames, so it doesn't need to be perfect and it's not gonna be too many keyframes. So this is just to create a hard edge over where the mask is gonna overlap me. And then this last one is just gonna be the tip of my head. So now we can go back to our full zoomed out look here 
And now we have this. Perfect. Now we can also go to our car layer and open up the audio waveforms and just keyframe the audio to fade in a little smoother, uh, just by a few frames because otherwise it cuts in really suddenly when that clip starts. Put your head on my But there you go, nice and simple. Uh, this is just a simple keyframing masking effect and that's really all that's going on here. But you can apply this to so many different things. So uh, don't be afraid to get creative with it and try it out on whatever effect you wanna do. You can use this to duplicate yourself in footage. You can use it to remove areas of a background in a video. This is a fundamental tool in video compositing. So if you know how to do it, it opens up a lot of possibilities. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty simple. Hopefully I was able to break it down for you okay. I know my way around After Effects, but I'm not really like a pro at it or anything. So when I'm doing After Effects, I gotta take it a little slower. Uh, but hopefully you guys understood what I'm talking about here. And uh, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>